Let's turn our attention now to CC1's analytics. The issue that the website interaction raised may actually be indicative of a broader issue that many customers are facing as a result of the new privacy policy being, order, being added to the ordering process. The key thing to highlight here is that CC1's data, the CC1's analytics covers not only CC1 data, but also data from other sources like CRM applications, and in this case, website data. So Ramesh, can I ask you to change hats? You're not a customer anymore, you're a contact center supervisor, and can you help us with the analytics to see if we can diagnose any issues? Sure, Arnab. Here, I have a historical visualization, and as you put it, this visualization pulls data from multiple sources. Uh, the abandoned cards in blue that we see here is actually data from the website, and the order issues in green is data from our CC1 platform. The x-axis shows time, and the y-axis shows uh, the number of uh, occurrences of each. If I play this, we see that over a period of time, the number of abandoned shopping carts as well as the order issues remain fairly stable, but they have been peaking over the last couple of days. That is definitely indicative of a systemic problem with our website, which is actually driving a lot of interactions into the contact center. Right, right. So it's very interesting to see that there's a strong correlation between an increase in abandoned shopping carts based on our website data and an increase in the number of interactions the contact center is seeing about order issues, and that data is coming from CC1. So clearly the contact center has become the front line in seeing this issue occur, and Ramesh, as the supervisor, can now use this data to inform the business, likely the e-commerce team, about this issue and, saying, and tell them that it requires immediate attention. In the meantime, however, business must go on. And so Ramesh, as the contact center supervisor, needs to make sure that the contact center is handling customers' issues while, these, while this uh, situation persists. Ramesh, how would a supervisor go about deciding how to allocate agent resources while this issue is happening? Great question, Arnab. Our analytics platform not only allows users to analyze data in both historical and real time, they also, we also allow to dashboard this data in real time. So this here, uh, we have a real-time dashboard that shows uh, multiple real-time reports in a nice uh, aligned view. What I have here is real-time interaction data on the left and real-time agent data on the right. And from the real-time agent data, we do see that the website support team, which actually handles interactions from the web issues, has no agents available, uh, which makes sense given the number of interactions that are flooding the contact center right now. We do, however, see agents sitting available in both sales and customer service teams. As a supervisor, if I have this level of visibility, I can quickly reallocate some of those agents from the sales and customer service teams to the website support team until the website issue gets fixed. That's great. By the way, while we are here, there's one more thing we can do. OK, what's that? Let me show you. As a supervisor, I can log in into our contact center CC1 mon uh, ma monitoring and management uh, console. And because we are having this website issue, I can play a message at the beginning of a call workflow letting the, by, by simply dragging and dropping a play block and connecting it into the call flow. And then letting the callers know that we are having a website issue and our privacy policy has changed. And if they want to submit new orders, they first have to accept the privacy policy. Mm -hmm. And finally, and perhaps more importantly, we can use the fetch block to dip into our real-time analytics platform to take advantage of the insights and predictions that our real-time uh, real analytics platform can generate. We can then use those insights to influence call routing in real time. Mm -hmm. uh, more specifically, we can prioritize all calls related to the website issue based on the insights generated on the abandoned shopping carts. That's awesome.